Assalamu alaikum, welcome and karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today I have something very deep, beautiful to share with you and there's a very simple delicious steak fajitas. So for my marinade I started with brown sugar about a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes and one tablespoon of cumin that is coarsely grounded, not powder, two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. You can use lemon and I also had in there one teaspoon of garlic paste. All right. So we just added a tablespoon of chopped cilantro or coriander or dania. It's the same thing. And just add that mixture to my 500 grams of steak that has been thinly sliced into thin strips, as you can see. All right. So we're just going to combine it well. And then we're going to add some salt. I like to use sea salt or kosher salt, but you can use whatever salt that you have. Just going to mix it well. And yes, I did almost forget black pepper. So we're just going to add some black pepper, about uh, half a teaspoon to one teaspoon, however you like it. All right. So we're just going to mix this well and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes just to get all that marinade soaked into the meat. So after that, I've got my grill here, my grill pan. You want it to be on high heat, so just gonna place the pieces there. And once I place all the meat, I cooked this into two badges, and then just cook it on high heat for about two minutes, and then I reduce the heat on medium high. And then now I'm just going to flip it. And once I flip it, I'm going to put the heat again on high. And then you can cook this for about six to seven minutes, not too long. You don't want them to be too dry and chewy. It's just going to be nice and tender and moist and juicy. You want to retain all those juices, yeah? All right, so once I flipped all the pieces and um, let it just cook for about two minutes and then as you can see it's ready just gonna take it out and then I cooked the rest of the meat and once I finished then I came back for the vegetables all right so the vegetables I've got onions there white onions and I made a little bit of marinade just about a tablespoon or you can just put olive oil and uh, some, uh, you know, black pepper, salt, whatever. And then um, it's the same marinade that I had because I used all of it. I keep forgetting to leave some. So then I've got my bell peppers, the red, the yellow, and the greens. I love colors. By now, you guys should know me that I love colorful food. It's so appetizing. So we're just going to saute these for about three, four minutes. And my grill pan is obviously too small. So I just, I got this pan. It's actually a pizza pan, but it's become so versatile. I use it for everything. So we're just going to saute these maybe for about three minutes. You don't want to overcook vegetables. Yeah. All right. So that's it. It's very simple. You can serve this with rice, but uh, today we just wanted to have it with tortillas. I have shared a video on how I make my tortillas. Yes, there goes in the salt. So I will put the link here in the description box below. So if you want to make your homemade tortillas, you can always make some. All right, so now our vegetables are ready. And we are ready to serve. And all other condiments also I have shared in my other videos, so I didn't want to repeat. So we've got our meat ready, and we've got our vegetables. We've got our salad here, our iceberg, and um, the guacamole, the sour cream, and my mango pico de gallo. And over there, I've got the tortillas. And now we are ready to build our fajita. Like I say, you can always serve it with rice, but... Um, we just didn't feel like having rice, all right? All right, so got my vegetables in there. And then the meat. 
this and we've got our pico de gallo i love to have mango in my pico de gallo because it adds a little bit of sweetness that really really balances the flavors all right and if you have not pressed that bell button for your notification please do not forget so that you get notified each time i release a new video and then we got some guacamole and some sour cream if you wish and thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching please do not forget to visit the description box below to grab yourself those ingredients so you can make this beautiful recipe bye bye